Well, guys, both of you guys pay a lot of attention, obviously, to the secondary market, um, but you're also kind of prominent members of the community. So you got and you, you're OGs, right? You've been here for a while. You've seen a lot happen within the game. So I would like to know what kind of trends have you seen within the comics? Can it? It can be kind of within comics, the community, the speculation, whatever. What kind of trends do you feel like? frustrate you and you'd love to see change <laughs> ah, go ahead, go ahead, wow yeah. who's gonna go first yeah, you, you are, ah, okay. <laughs> all right I, I, honestly i gotta walk a fine line with this one right here <laughs> this question will get you in trouble oh yeah for sure. so, well as a new york city public school teacher i have a lot of professional developments on the LBGTQ, so I'm very diversified. I can accept anything, man. I'm down for whatever. I'm a black man, so I can't diss nobody. You see what I'm saying? All right, so let's get that out the way. The trend of forcing sexuality, what you do in the bedroom, kind of forcing it on me I can go either way on that. I do believe some people, okay, you got your little exposure, but if it seems forced and it seems fake, I can see right through it. I'm not going to throw out new warriors because believe it or not, I was going to buy that. And I was going to read it. I, I, I have a super problem with that book. So, I know you yeah. do, <laughs> but I was going to try it. <laughs> because how can I say it? Some of those di diverse people are my students. and. 15 years from now, they may be looking for representation. And new warriors might be where they need to go. So I'm for each his own. You know what I mean? If okay. you don't like something, you don't got to buy it. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. But, but I do understand that 20 years from now, dudes like us going to be dinosaurs. And times change. So they may be an audience for new warriors and safe space and all of these things. Because I have safe space meetings at school. Okay. I have these meetings at school. I have to deal with these students at school. I have to call a student they, because they want to be they. You see what I'm saying? So I understand. I do. I got to tell my man, he feels he identifies this way, then he needs to go to that bathroom. Yes. Unfortunately. I, 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 look, that's what I'm saying. I have to wear two hats on this one. Gotcha. gotcha. You understand what I'm saying? As an educator... Respect that. And, and, and being with the social, emotional, with that whole, it's a touchy subject, but it's entering our comic books now. Yeah. And certain ones of us feel that they're effeminizing masculinity. Okay? Yeah. Everywhere we turn. And a lot of black males may feel that way. Okay? But that's a whole nother show. Okay? Yeah. And this is where I'm going at. The safe space, the trailblazer, they made... Uh, I believe Native American. So you got a lot of people throwing their hats in these social issues. And I think that's a problem, man, honestly. I'm not saying it doesn't need to exist in comic books because comic books have been political. But when it's a forced agenda, my heart feels it, man. I feel when it's forced. That's it for me. I'm off the soapbox. Yo, I, I hear where you're coming from. And I, and I, and I, do, and I do agree with you. Um, that the first one thing, one thing I had got a lot of heat, a lot of heat about was um was uh when Falcon when Falcon became um Captain America hit the jackpot. I don't want I don't want to see Black Captain America. He was fine as Falcon. Why does he have to be? I don't want to see characters become different than than, than what they than what they're supposed to be. That goes for white, black, green, purple. I don't want to see uh, a, 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 a black. I don't want to see a white black panther. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to see a black Captain America because Captain America is not black. However, let me be the. That's why I'm glad they, they they call the show Winter Soldier and Falcon, and not Winter Soldier and Captain America. Let him be back. cool. Let him be. Let him be the best Falcon he could be. He was great. He was great. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see Chinese Bruce Wayne, Asian Bruce Wayne. I don't want to see that. Why? 
create create new characters. That, but they also, also go into the new worlds. If you do create new characters, make them good. Devil Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, perfect. She was dope, no doubt. I messed with her. You know what I mean? Yep. But, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm cool with her. You know what I mean? Listen, <laughs> I rocks with her. I, that's what I look for. I rocks with her. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I've been rocking with her, even though people, even though a lot of people didn't, didn't like her at first. They grew to love her because she was new, she was fresh, she was exciting. Yep. It's a, it's no a doubt. different character. You ain't you 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 don't have to put color in every character, dude. That 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 don't make no it, don't, it doesn't make sense. Don't kill the mythology of what we grew up on. You know what I mean, like like say said, so, so, um, Alfred is gonna be gay in this new Batman book. Um, uh, uh, Batman is Chinese or something like that or Asian or something. Listen. You can create those characters and call them something else. Why? Why? Why do it? Why not do that? Why not do that? That's the only. That that is that is one of the problems I have. Go, go for force the force diversity. You hit it right in the head, Wolf. Force diversity is not. It's not a good thing. I'm sorry. Let's come from a black man. No doubt. <laughs> Straight we up. Don't, we don't want to see it. Nah. No, and when it's and when it works and when it's done and it's done um, organically, it certainly works, and it is, is important because representation matters for everybody that wants to see themselves yes. represented um, in any medium that they really love. So, yeah. you know, for anyone out there saying that these guys are saying that they they're not supportive of that, that's not what they're saying. They're saying nah. that when you do something like you have kind of like this new warriors thing, where it feels at least to us on the outside like. You, you know, it's being marketed. Anything that feels marketed doesn't feel organic and authentic. Nope. And I think that's more to do with it. Brian, sure. what, what about you? What about you? What, uh, you know, another 10-year-plus vet, what, what, what for you at this point gets you worked up? Well, before I get into mine, I do kind of want to touch on what they said. It's <laughs> Punchline! <laughs> well, we're going to get there in a minute. But I agree with, with both of what Mel and Wolf were talking about. And then while I'll say New Warriors, I wouldn't buy it because I'm not the, I don't feel I'm the demographic that's being marketed to. I'd rather see something like that where they create new characters right out the bat that way than kind of goes along with what Mel was saying also where they were forcing that, multi, you know, that diversity by changing existing characters and changing traits and changing, you know, to, to please the masses that want to say, hey, I want to see um, a gay Bruce Wayne, just for an example, not that it happened. And then, right. you know, they get a petition started, they get these 400 signatures, and now you have an Elseworlds story or whatever it is with the gay Bruce Wayne. I'd rather mm -hmm. see it with new characters from the jump dealing with that diversity and creating and marketing towards the people that want those characters than changing years of that character that we've all grown to, to love and know. I think there's something for everybody in comics. We just got to find out what that is and, and not change what already is there. Right. Um, I, I do agree characters need to evolve and grow, but stay within the, you know, the concept of what's in your lane. Oh, also, to, to, let, me, let me touch the new world once again. If those characters had dope ass powers, then I'm with it. <laughs> this person is pulling out portals out of a book bag. <laughs> book bag. What? <laughs> My man got a pink force field. What the? <laughs> boy, you got Are you glad I can't curse him, boy? Because ah! <laughs> yeah. who pulls out a pink force field? Nah, man. Nah, nah, dude. Nah, nah. And hey, you see how uh, crazy this is? I just spoke about it, <laughs> and we were criticizing it. But like I said, remember, Wolf is going to treat it. I'm going to read issue one. I will. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm the, gonna the, read issue one. What was it? The, 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 the little Morbius. He was probably the, the illest character that I, would, that I would like spec on, but only because he has nothing to do with color. Think about it. He has nothing to do with color. He was no, it was no diversity, no nothing, no crazy. Yo, he's a little Morbius, dude. Well, one of those dudes like he, he could patch it to the internet. Uh, that, made, uh, that made me sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Internet gas turned him into some screen. Internet, internet, internet gas. Right. <laughs> internet gas. Right. But I now as far as... I thought of a podcast before. Is that internet gas? 
<laughs> Internet gas. Wow. But now I'll say that the, the, the comic trend that kind of frustra me, frustrates me, and Wolf kind of touched on it, but I'll say this is almost a personal pet peeve, but I also think this is something that's good for comics as well, is we're seeing the rapid ascension and popularity and monetary value of new characters that we don't know much about yet. Um, I think the ease of information right now where people you know that we've talked about getting alerts get stuff and people time. are letting them know hey this is a character this is the first appearance it's gonna be a huge character and the next thing you know the the demand for it drives up the price drives up and we don't know much about the character at all but i think this is also a good thing because we all start somewhere i can personally say years ago i was probably in the same group where if i heard something i went out and bought it i didn't give a damn and then sure enough that character drops and I get left holding whatever in my hand, but that's kind of what the learning experience is with comics. I don't blame any app. I don't blame any news source. I don't blame anything because it's like, Jack, you and I talk about it. It's like blaming McDonald's for being fat, right? <laughs> you know, they put the information, it's up to you to whether to learn <laughs> to use it or not use it. But however you use it, you're going to learn something from it, whether you make a lot of money or you get left holding the bag on it. Oh, I, gotta go to bed. I, gotta I think go to bed. that's also important for you within your comic journey. That's, but I say pet peeve, frustrating, but I think there's good that comes out of that also. All right. So I'll tell you guys for the thing that frustrates me the most, I have to kind of turn the mirror from the industry kind of onto ourselves as the comic community. Um, I think that, I get the most frustrated from what we do to ourselves. It's comics politics. I talk about it all the time on the channel. It can be applied so many different ways. If you're a speculator, it comes in the form of speculation, clans, gangs, cliques, communities, whatever you want to call it. From your CBSI to facts to trends, you can't be in two. You can only be in one. If you like one, you have to hate the others. You can't share information, which makes everybody short on information um, <laughs> when we should be all working together. Um, and then beyond that, when you, when you start expanding. The <laughs> yeah. It's a New York episode. Yep. And then, it's an NY episode, yeah. Yeah. And then once you expand beyond just the speculative community and you start looking at the community in a whole, um, look at things like any topic you want to talk about. You mentioned an app, like look at the key collector app. If you bring that app up, look at the way that the community is going to divide in how they view it. Um, some will view it as this excellent tool um, that helps so many people. Some will view it as this like evil thing because they've got to find something to point the finger at. And there's a lot of that finger pointing and, and this is the blame. Now there's too many variants. Now these stores are creating store exclusives. They're to blame. Now it's these YouTubers pumping indie comics. They're to the blame. It's always something to blame. Um, we saw it with, uh, with, the, the final order cutoff show. We were going to tank the market. Everything was going to go downhill. Nobody was going to make any money. And guess what? Nothing happened. The final it, order cutoff show cost Corona. It, yeah, it cost Corona. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, but that's the thing is I, I wish, I know I sound, I almost sound like the corny hippie, like can't we all just get along on some kumbaya type shit, but it's really. We, we, no, 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 we should all, we should to get along. Yeah. We should, we, we, all, we, all, we all have a, a common thing that we all love, but people, people are protective of what, some, all right, for some speculators, this is all they got. Mm-hmm. This is why if this market takes, they're screwed. And it even goes beyond speculators <laughs> into every aspect of YouTube. Brian and I went to a convention and we were working with another YouTuber. And we ended up finding out that another YouTuber had sent text messages telling them not to work with us. Then I went and did, you mentioned the Nico show. So I go do the show with Nico. I, there was a history with me and Nico's partner, but he was super cool about it. But apparently some other people had issue with Brian and I being on that show. And it's always some politics and opinions from different members of the community when at the end of the day, we're all really trying to do the same thing. And 
we're tripping over each other because there's so much like work and collaborative effort that can be done. This show is an example of that. This is a show that we came up with to try to show different voices, different opinions, different people on YouTube that Brian and I like and respect. And there's, it, there's not a need for ego. Uh, we hope you guys get over. We hope that some people who are watching us decide to go watch you guys. That's the whole point. So I wish that people would collaborate and work together more. And I'm excited when I do see that happen. It's not like it never happens.